Hi, I'm Marilyn Smith and I'm a professional home economist and welcome back to my left frying pan. Okay, so today we're talking about one of my favorite heart healthy fats, avocado, because they're finally in season. Woo! And I'm going to improvise a recipe uh, for guacamole, because that's how I roll with guacamole! <laughs> Avocados are loaded with nutrition, and I know they have a lot of fat in it, but it's a heart-healthy, monounsaturated fat, so that's good, but size matters. I mean, you wouldn't want to eat a whole one of these babies. Now, people always ask me, how do you pick one? Like, do you smell them? No, you don't smell them. They don't smell like anything, and also they're germy. You just got germs all over. Maybe somebody else, ew. Anyway, so when you're looking, you want to look for firm ones, and you want to ripen them in your house. So you're not going to go to the store in the morning, pick out an avocado, I mean, unless it's mushy, and then you don't want it anyway, uh, to eat that night. So bring them home, and then what you want to do is put the ones that are really firm in back in the refrigerator, and the ones you want to ripen, leave on the counter. If you want to speed it up by a couple of days, you put an avocado, or two, or three, in a paper bag with an apple. And what happens is the apple has a gas that it emits that speeds up ripening of other fruits. That's why you should store apples in your crisper in a plastic bag. So that goes like that. You close it up and just leave it on the counters for like two days. Check after the second day to see how it's going. And then you store it back in the fridge. Now people are always cutting them up weird and or different and it's not there's not a right way or there's a wrong way but there is an anti-hack way. So back by popular demand here's anti-hack. Hello! I'm back and thank you so much for all your comments and the notes and the e So nice having that fan club, thank you. Um, got a lovely note here from Sugar, no, sorry, <laughs> Sweet Sugar Bean. And I thought, oh, that rings about. Oh, it's that lovely Renee. She lives on the prairies and she wrote a book called All the Sweet Things. And I thought, oh, she's written an homage to me. <laughs> No, it's not. It's a baking book. It's lovely, but not one mention of Auntie Hack in the book. We'll forgive her. It's a lovely book. Anyway, she writes, your accent is sort of weird. What part of the UK are you from? <laughs> oh, you're cheeky, Renee. You're very cheeky. <laughs> Why don't you just bugger off? Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to uh, do an avocado, how to do it, <laughs> slip of the tongue. Anyway, you always wash them, wash them, wash them, wipe them off. And uh, when they're very soft for guacamole, you want them kind of really, not squishy, you want them kind of bouncy back, but in a nice way, you know? And so here's my trick. Now there's lots of ways to do it, but here's the anti-hack way. You put your knife in and then you roll the avocado, roll the avocado, you don't want to cut your hand off, no, no, and then you twist it, twist, and there you've got your avocado. Now using a spoon, there's a little bit of black, you just, you just throw it in the sink. And so the rest of it, you use your spoon, now you could use a knife, but you could stab yourself unless it's a butter knife, so I use a spoon, safety first. And then you just go all the way around and round and it's kind of zen-like and you just keep doing that like that and maybe you can do some more and then look you just scoop it out oh my goodness don't be peeling this with a potato peeler that's so stupid anyway so that's all you do it's very easy if you want to get the pit out you have to be a professional for this this is one way you can do it but be very careful it's got to be really ripe you just poke the knife in give it a twist didn't work bugger we'll just pop it out with a spoon it's just oh i'm making a big bloody mess but we'll throw that black stuff in the sink. The rest of it's totally good. And then you just go around and around and around. And you know, the creamier the better. But sometimes when they, they're very soft, they're very yucky inside. So be very careful. And uh, till next time, keep those comments coming. Ta Thanks, Auntie Hack. Woo! Okay, so you know that you can't improvise baking like if you improvise baking it doesn't work like people phone me up and go you know what this didn't work and i go what did you do and they say well you know i didn't have that so don't do that you don't do it in baking but you can improvise kind of in uh, savory but i really improvise when i make guacamole okay so here's the elements that you get to play with so of course you have avocado dough and then you need an acid now limes grow in the same place that avocados do i think they're made together as a marriage 
beverage. So, but you can use lemon juice if you want, but I prefer lime. So lemon or lime. Then you need some kind of onion element, okay? Whether it's green onion or red onion, or if you've got chives in your garden. Um, really finely chopped up. And then you need an element of garlic, okay? So, but what I do, because I'm improvising, I always have shallots in my house. Sometimes I don't have green onion. I always have garlic, but sometimes I don't have red onion either. So I use shallots. And shallots are a little oniony and a little garlicky. So it's like two for one. Then you need some heat. And I like, uh, I like red pepper flakes, but you could use a cayenne pepper or regular pepper, just a bit of heat. I don't like adding hot sauce. I know a lot of people do, because it makes the guacamole really wet, and I don't like wet guacamole. So that's my, my version. And if you like, you know, if you like it wet, then go for the hot sauce. Now, some people put tomatoes in. I don't. I don't. I don't like them in there. Once again, I think it's lumpy and it gets wet. And, you know. Anyway, and then some people put cilantro. Now, I love cilantro, but like. Your DNA, it says stinky socks or tastes fantastic. So um, I don't put cilantro in my avocado because too many people I know don't like it. So I have it on the side and they can put it on there. So, oh yeah. Oh, and the one thing, I don't use a lot of salt, but I do use iodized salt in this recipe. Uh, a pinch, maybe two pinches. It's not even an eighth of a, a teaspoon because it really helps blend all the flavors together. So those are the elements. And now we're going to freestyle, improvise, guacamole. Yes. In my recipe, it's two avocados and about a half a lime. So in that goes, and that's going to prevent it from browning. All right, I know a lot of people put the pit in or they, they put it in a plastic bag. It, it doesn't work. Don't even bother trying. Um, and if it works for you, good for you. It doesn't work for me. Um, so that's why I put the lime juice in it. It gives a nice flavor. And I like mine chunky. I don't like mine smooth. All right, lime in. Put a little bit of salt. A little bit more, pinches. My hot pepper flakes, I like it spicy. Woo, blow your, blow your ass off. And now the shallot. Onion goggles, contact. Takes about ooh, two tablespoons of minced uh, shallot. That's too big. I'm going to save that and I, I keep it in my freezer. Uh, so the next time I make stock or uh, it's there. So this goes in. Ooh. And honestly, that's just about it. Mix it up. Now you could make this about 20 minutes before and uh, put it in the fridge so that the, the flavors kind of marry a little bit. Uh, but honestly, that's all there is to it. I like it plain and simple. Put it in a pretty bowl. And then some whole grain or uh, some corn chips. And hola! Happy May, happy uh, uh, avocado season. Here's to heart healthy fats, vitamins and minerals. Till the next time, uh, if you wanna click on my face over here, you can become a subscriber. It's free, it's free. Uh, or you can look down there and uh, one of my recipes from uh, last week will be up. Anyway, peace, love and fiber. Oh yeah.